Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to make the tops for the bottoms we made in the last video. So last time we made three pound bottoms and then today we're going to make and attach the tops like these two right here. So let's go. All right, here's one of the bottoms we made in the last video. And uh, I've had it covered up for a couple days and it's dried out pretty well. The top's actually getting pretty dry. I need to make sure I do these soon. So uh, that's why we're doing this video tonight to make sure these get done. Uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is take my calipers and measure inside the top here. So I'm gonna come in about probably a half inch from each side. Um, so the total overall width, uh, let's see, let's measure this here. So the total overall width inside is about three and three quarters and my calipers right now are set to uh, about three inches. So I'm a little less than a half inch from each side. Um, so just, just to give you an idea, uh, I'm not measuring the full width, I'm measuring inside a little bit because the shape that I'm going to make, I'm going to throw the tops for these, I'm going to throw them upside down and at the top of that I'm going to make a concave shape or a U shape that I want that to then fit over this lip. Uh, to help kind of attach the top piece that I'm adding to this dryer clay. I'm also going to uh, wet the top of this just a little bit as well to help that uh, connection happen, but I'm not going to score or add any slip. Uh, I'm just going to wet this and uh, I, I've done this several times and I don't have any issues with them joining that way. So, all right, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to uh, take the, the tops that I'm making. Oh, this is one that I messed up the other day when I was covering it up. I uh, hit it with my finger now, so we need to fix that a little bit too. Uh, but the tops that I'm making are probably somewhere between a pound and a quarter, uh, right in that range of, of clay, maybe up to, close to a pound and a half. Um, and then we're gonna make the, the tops out of that, so. So these I'm going to uh, center and open the clay ball all the way down to the back. And then I'm going to uh, make it about the same width as, as I need all the way up. It's just going to be a straight cylinder. I'm going to leave a little bit more clay at the top to make that concave shape that I was talking about, that U shape. Uh, and I'm not going to pull these as much as I could uh, because once I attach it uh, to the bottom there, I want to be able to shape it. So I, I leave some extra clay and because of the stiffness of the bottoms, uh, I can act, kind of act like this is a whole new pot on top of there and I don't have to worry about the bottom uh, sagging or, or, or buckling at all and that's one of the big advantages of, of doing it this way. So then you can work on the neck and make it really whatever shape you want or that looks good based on the shape of the bottom. So measure that and that's pretty close. We'll make that a little bit. There we go. So now that I have that the right size, I'm going to clean out some of the extra clay around the inside of the bottom and also on the outside of the bottom. Just so that I get rid of some of that bulkiness once I cut it free from this bat and it's turned upside down on the, uh, on the bottom there. So now you can see there what I've done as far as the top of that. Now I'm going to take this and put this back on the wheel. I might uh, go ahead and fix that while we're here. Take some of this wet clay. Put that in there and then when we put it on the wheel, we'll smooth it over with my nice uh, rubber rib here. out well. Alright, so I'm going to add, like I said, add a little bit of water just to the top right here just to help those two pieces join because uh, the top of this is pretty uh, pretty stiff, pretty uh, not pretty dried out, but definitely very stiff and getting on the drier side. 
So that'll help. And then I'm gonna turn this over on top. I'm gonna spin it and hold my hand there to kind of see if it's centered. And then if it's not, I move it. The water on top also helps with that so I can kind of move that if it's not quite centered to get it centered. Uh, doesn't quite have to be perfect, but don't want it way off. And then I, uh, I hold the bat up against my chest. I pull the, the wire up and towards my chest to cut it free from the bat as I do that. And there we go. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is, is kind of wet the top of this and smooth that out a little bit, as well as thin that down just a little bit, because I don't want that rough, dry clay catching on my hand as I'm working on the base of it here, and that could really throw it off. So, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, and then I'm gonna kind of push down, help smooth out that clay over that edge there and trying to get a smooth curve as that transitions down. And then I'm gonna go on the inside, which you can't see, and try to push that clay also down over the lip on the inside. All right, now from here we can Start making the shape, and the good thing, like I said, is that bottom is stiffened up to the point. The, the bottom of the bottom is still wet enough that it's attached really well to the bat, but the top of it is stiff enough that I don't have to worry about any movement that I make buckling the, uh, the clay, that three pound bottom that's there. a little more clay than I really need in this top, probably. Um, just depends on what uh, what kind of neck and top you want to put on any of these as to how much clay you really need. But we'll do one first where we uh, get it skinny here and then put some of those grooves in it. I think that's a pretty cool neck that was on that other one that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Sorry, my wheel's starting to get squeaky. I fixed it last year, and then uh, I'm gonna have to turn it over and look at the belts and work on those again to see if I can get rid of that squeak. So I apologize about that. I did a live stream earlier today and started to notice it then, so I talked to them about it. Um, Alright, so we're going to get this nice and smoothed out and get the shape that we want. skinnier than that. Let's see here. Make sure that's a nice smooth transition there just so that it looks more like it's one piece uh, rather than two and you could just put a line there and make it kind of look like two and hide that uh, joint but uh, what I like to do is just try to make it really smooth and, and, uh, and hide that joint as far as the shapes that I'm making so now to do those grooves 
we'll take a really high tech piece of equipment here, a paintbrush that has a nice round end on the on the back side, and uh, just gonna use it get it wet and then push it into the clay there make a nice round groove I guess I could do that with my finger but this does a really good job just support it on the inside while I'm doing that a little bit clean off that extra clay get it wet and do it again One more. All right. We'll come back and match that down to there. And we'll sponge that off. Get rid of any sharp edges that might, might have created. That's kind of neat. Top's kind of big on that one, but I like making them all a little bit different. And cool thing also about making these, uh, throwing the tops upside down, is that you have a lot of thickness in the bottom that when you pull it up, then when you flip that over and put it on top, that thickness that was in the bottom of that piece you pulled is now on top. So you can get some really nice thick rims on your, on your pieces, uh, which just help them look a whole lot better. And actually, uh, kind of makes them feel lighter too, in my opinion, because if you see a piece that's got a thicker rim, it's like an optical illusion. You think the whole thing is thicker and then you go pick it up and it's like, ooh, that feels really light. So it's just something I think that uh, is an added benefit. So there's that one done. Let's see if it will fit underneath there. It will not. It won't go under there either. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, we'll do this one from a a different angle and, and closer up. I hope my knee's not in the way here. We'll move the foot pedal a little farther. Maybe on this one we'll do one of those tall skinny necks and uh, see how that looks. Like I said, I pull this up and then I leave a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of clay at the top to make that uh, make that U shape out of. I'm go ahead and pull that up, but I'm gonna stop right below that, and then I just take my finger and I push down in the center of that, just making that big big valley there. That's a little small, but uh, I think it'll be okay. The last one seemed like it didn't didn't cover over in the middle like as much as I wanted to, so we're gonna make this one a little bit smaller than what I measured. Try that out. All right, so there, I got that thrown and I got the excess clay trimmed inside and out. Now we're going to add bottom back on the wheel. There's that. Take this upside down. Got that one on there about perfect. I like that.
you can see the thickness that I was talking about in the top there because this was the bottom of what I just threw that I can turn that over and then I've got that thickness in the top and like I said I'm just smoothing that out still got plenty of thickness there and then uh, just gonna smooth that clay down I like to keep that wet so that I can smooth that over and make that nice transition and then add some water and I want to push that inside down over going to do is go ahead and now I'm going to take this and pull it up taller and then try to keep it skinny as I do that and then we can make a tall skinny neck on this. One of my big things that I want to make sure I get, uh, even as I taper that, is make sure this curve stays really nice right in this area here. Um, so that if you're going to have a tall, skinny neck, I think what thing the thing that makes it look really nice is to have that nice gradual curve from the belly into the neck. Uh, or just, you know, just a nice curve in general, whether it's gradual or, or sharp. Um, just that it fits the shape. Um, of the rest of the piece. All right. A little bit of clay going round and round on my wheel, <laughs> distracting me. I had to clean that off. Now I don't really care for how that uh, shape starts at the base of that neck, so I'm gonna work on that, but now it's gonna get tricky to mess with that because I've already got so much of the neck already formed. I've gotta kinda of support it here as I work on that. And I've just got just a hair bit of a, a wobble right there at the base as well. Um, so that's, that's better. <laughs> Getting tricky to get my rib up there without uh, jerking that off center. It's like I wanted to grab and, <laughs> and pull. might want to flare that out even a little bit more at the top. So I'm going to add some water so that it can glide a little easier. It was, it was starting to grab. Actually, I might just come up. Yeah, yeah, I think I like that. And then once I get to the top, I'll kind of flatten out a little bit. 
So instead of having a gradual curve all the way, it kind of comes up and then flattens. I've done that before and I really like that look. Go. there's another one down yeah that one's pretty cool all right we'll do one more here on video and uh, and we'll be done with this one Right, everybody there we go we got uh, seven more of these done uh, that are two-part bases I actually have some more over here under plastic that I need to put tops on uh, but we did these three in this video I did three of those in my live stream and then one uh, tonight before I started this video uh, and this last one you know what I thought you know what I don't have to make them all with a skinny neck so I started to make that one wider and then I was like man that would be a really nice picture so I can't wait to see that one uh, with a handle on it and, uh, and finished. It's going to be really nice. And I can already see some nice slip decoration down here. Uh, going to be really cool. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you learned something. And I hope you use this to make, uh, make, yourself, uh, make yourself some nice pots. And uh, this is just a technique that a lot of people use. It's not unique to me. Uh, but it's really helped me make some really nice forms and not have to worry about trying to you know have all this uh, bulbousness down here support the weight of that tall of a neck uh, that's really difficult to do it is possible uh, but this is just a, a, an easier way to do that makes it easier on you and uh, and as long as you can make that nice round form on the bottom and the first piece let it stiffen up and come back later uh, it's definitely a great uh, a great way to make some nice pots so anyway like I said hope you guys like this I hope it inspired you and I hope it helps you and I hope you guys are doing well and I appreciate your support as always on the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video if you want. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.